Driscoll responds. I want to apologize. I talked to Mark for a half hour. He's out of line. Mark, we are calling you to publicly repent. Uh, yeah, actually, he hasn't. He swallowed a sword, and Jesus cried. Okay, Pastor John, I'll receive that. Despite being thrown out by supposed friend and fellow pastor, John Lindell. Thank you. So all of this got me thinking. When, if ever, is it appropriate to throw a pastor off of a stage? Okay, Pastor John, I'll receive that. Honestly, the more I think about this, folks, it just... All right, I'm calm, but let's talk about it anyway. By now, you've seen all of the videos, complete with John Lindell's rebuke of former friend Mark Driscoll. Mark, we are calling you to publicly repent. And subsequent apology. I want to apologize. And the more I thought about the things people aren't talking about as a pastor, the thing that literally upset me the most about this entire thing is that you have a pastor being thrown off the stage. I mean, seriously. But hey, friends, before we talk about that real quick, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And if you want to, when the video is over, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Or if you're afraid you'll forget, you can do me a favor and click that like button right now. I'd greatly appreciate it. You can also go to PastorAJ.com to learn more about gospel ministries. We exist to help others experience, demonstrate, and share God's great gospel. While you're there, you can sign up for my weekly email newsletter and follow the links to my other social media accounts. You can also buy some cool merch there that will help you share your faith with your friends and and pick up a copy of my new book, End Times Mission, an introduction to post-millennial eschatology. You know, I have to admit it, that I fully intended to move on from this topic, but it's it's the story that, that just won't go away. <laughs> and the more I listen to and think about it, and I can't help but wonder, but why aren't more people outraged over this? No, not the pole dancer. <gasps> no, not the rebuke. He's out of line. Nor the call to repentance afterward. Mark, we are calling you to publicly repent. But just the general lack of respect from one pastor and supposed friend to another so as to be thrown off the very same platform that you were invited to preach from. Who does this kind of thing? Having been a pastor myself for two and a half decades, yes, I'm that old, this was the thing that got to me the most. It was the fact that a pastor kicked another pastor off the stage. He's out of line which in and of itself is indicative of a general lack of respect for another human being, let alone the title of pastor, someone who in theory has devoted themselves to serving the Lord and caring for God's sheep. But in this situation, it was also compounded by the fact that these two men have had a relationship for a number of years. So what would it have been like to hear your friend and fellow pastor screaming at you from the audience, you're done. Thank you. Something akin to what you would say to a hired hand or a circus act that got a little out of hand. But then there's the extra added later of the relationship that these two men shared. Certainly John Lindell has seen Mark Driscoll's sermons. Certainly he had already pegged him as a John the Baptist. Yet he invited his former friend to speak at his circus. I, I mean, conference, conference. And maybe this is where the problem begins. It begins when we look at the pastor like a performer. A pastor isn't a performer. A pastor is a preacher of God's holy word to God's holy people. And sometimes that can be a little uncomfortable. But the moment a pastor becomes a performer, you can say to him, you didn't preach what I wanted you to preach. You made me feel a little uncomfortable in my church pew. Let me tell you something, friends. This culture today needs to feel a little more uncomfortable than it currently does. And that alone would start to solve a whole lot of problems out there. So back to our original question, when is it appropriate to pull a pastor off the platform? Never. I mean, honestly, just out of respect for Jesus or out of respect for the office, you don't do it, especially when you invited the man to preach in the first place. If you do, you look incredibly wishy-washy, double-minded, impulsive, and entitled. Sometimes that platform is meant to make them feel uncomfortable. So please, Pastor Lindell, please, James River Church, please, people of God and Christians everywhere, treat 
pastors better than you saw at this conference. I mean, it's like as evangelicals, we're so obsessed with reaching culture that we treat the pagans better than we do God's people. He's not lying. You know, the ones for whom Jesus died? If that's the case, something is wrong with our theology. And there's definitely something wrong with our hearts. Something idolatrous going on in there. Don't reject the Holy Spirit because of your own impulses and then call someone to account publicly. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 15. If your brother sins against you, go and show him his fault just between the two of you. A scripture that you yourself are not following. Because what does that scripture say? It says, if someone offends you, to go to them privately. Yet the first thing we saw in this situation was a public rebuke at the conference for something he deemed a personal offense. He's not lying. Do not be the kind of Christian that is so flaky you can't sit for five minutes under a word from a fellow pastor that you don't like. You see, friends, this is what the church has become. The church in our country, and I hate to say this, has literally turned into the American marketplace because we've made everything, including our relationships with other people and God himself, all about our own personal pleasure. And so these are the kinds of things we end up with. People follow the example they see from our preachers. Get more concerned with living out a godly example, showing yourself to be different from the world, and you will be way more successful in winning people over to Christ. What do you think? Were you offended by this display of disrespect? I know this is a hard word to preach. These are hard things to say. So let's just finish with that thought. What is your takeaway from the Driscoll Lindell controversy? How will you walk away from this seeking to make not just your church, but your community and your world a better place? How will you seek to be a Christian who demonstrates the fruit of the Holy Spirit in their relationships with other people and how they respect church authority and the institution of the church, which is Christ's bride, his body? Go ahead and leave your thought in the comments. I'd love to see it. I love you, friends. And let's also pray for our leaders that we can get our act together a little bit and begin to take this world back from the devil. I know that the church can do this when we're moving forward in God's power. Until the next video, see ya.